travelers, on this video I'll be taking a deeper look into the food of the Santos Caracol Resort and I'll be sharing my experience on every restaurant, so let's start with it. Travelers, this is La Laguna Buffet for breakfast. This restaurant has a beautiful wood entrance and it would cross a river. So let's start with it. Okay, travelers, I got inside. I just comment them that I'm just recording, not taking the breakfast right now. So let's see what the first thing we find. I think the first thing is the fruit, which look and taste really good. Here we have some salmon carpaccio. On this side we have some chopped fruit for the yogurt. Here we got some cereals and seeds. The classic scrambled eggs. There are some onions, some nopales. On this side we have some frijoles, some beans, some barbecue, Mexican barbecue. This meat that says barbecue as well, so different barbecue styles. And here on this side we have the eggs to taste station. Here you can have an omelette, scrambled eggs, fry eggs. This is the bread section, the bread stand. Here, as you can see, you can prepare your own sandwich as well. There are some cookies or biscuits, some sweet bread. Pretty good, actually. You can even make your own toast bread. This place is weird, it's like to prepare your own cocoa. There's the cocoa powder, some sugar, some potato patties. And here we got the famous chilaquiles, Mexican chilaquiles. You prepare your chilaquiles to taste, some cheese cream, and there's some nice meat next to it. Here we got what I think is the kid section with some pancakes, there's some Nutella and we have some chopped fruit as well again and the cheese section with the cold meats. There's a lot of cheese. You can read the names of the, of the cheese of the cold meat up there in three languages, Spanish, English and French. And at last, another fruit section, just like the, like the one of the beginning. And this is it. This is La Laguna Buffet for breakfast. It's honestly good. I really liked it. The place is big. Oh, this is the coffee section, the coffee machine. You can request your coffee or your any beverage to your to your waiter. So we actually liked it. And if the main section is full, you can come to this hidden small section that I didn't notice last night when we came for dinner. At the beginning I wasn't sure if it was part of the restaurant, but yes it is. With the constraint of walking from here to the buffet. It's actually pretty nice. Uh, so far, we are liking this hotel. It obviously has some cons, but we are going to look at them at the end. But so far, for the price, is good. Oh, I always miss the tacos and quesadillas stand. They prepare the quesadilla or taco and you put the salsas on them. Okay, travelers, 
This is my breakfast today here at La Laguna. Let's see how good is it. So far, it looks good. I will let you know once finished. I got there some eggs, some chilaquiles, some beans, and obviously the bacon. There's some meat, uh, I don't know what it is, some Mexican barbecue, and some onion. Uh, it's going to be a light breakfast for me today. Okay, travelers, we're finishing in La Laguna. As told before, it closes at 10 a.m. I'm done. Everything was fine, just fine. The coffee was a little bit watery. It lack of flavor a little bit. So just fine. Something I didn't like that seems to be common here. All the beef is tough, uh, well seasoned. I like it better than the dinner we have in the Mexican. So in general, it's just fine. The fresh fruit was good. The bacon was good, I love it. You can tell. But it was tasty, different from other hotels, we didn't like it. You might know which one. And just finishing, I just found something. The restaurant that supports the breakfast buffets on the weekend, which is La Toscana, closes at 11, so they're closest then 30. Here you have a half hour more. And after that, there's nothing else. Just the salvia at the beach. I hope we will see it later, if you didn't already see it. And the tacos open until 1 and... I think that's it. So I think the schedules are fine and more for the weekend when there's more people. You will choose then. Try to get early anyway because the options run off. And they close right on time, which is fine because there's a lot of work the guys do. And remember, tip the waiters, they deserve it. Well then, let's see what else we can find. Travelers, the Toscana, La Toscana, the Italian restaurant, the Italian buffet, opens as a breakfast buffet only on the weekends, just to support the main restaurant, La Laguna. As you can see, here is the schedule from 5.30 to 9 p.m., but today from 7 to 11 a.m. will serve the breakfast buffet. This is a way smaller buffet and obviously more quiet than La Laguna. Let's see what food option it has, only on the weekends, obviously. Here we have some oatmeal and cocoa. Fruit, some fresh chop and whole fruit, cold meat and cheese. On this side, we have some eggs, some Mexican barbecue. There are some roast uh, onions. You can prepare your own chilaquiles here with all the sauces, the chips, some salsa, the cream and cheese. And here they prepare the eggs to taste. Here are all the options, all the ingredients. And here they are preparing the omelets. Good morning. On this side we have a scrambled eggs, some beans, some winners. There's some meat there, I don't know what it is. There are some sweet ingredients here. We have some flavored milk and more fruit, fresh fruit. Here we have some yogurt, some cereal, some bread, and the breakfast cereal. And that's it, as you can see. This is way more relaxed and more uh, small than La Laguna. It's good in case you don't want to make lines. If you don't want to be elbow by elbow with all, all the people like in La Laguna. And the place looks really nice. I will show at night when we come for dinner. Oh look, there's some flavored waters and some bread. Let's go to the next one. Travelers, we are again at La Laguna. Now for lunch. Remember, this is for breakfast and dinner as well. This is the nice path to get into, but you know it. Let's fast forward. 
Well, as you saw on the breakfast, breakfast is from 7 a.m. to 10.30 and lunch from 12.30 to 3.30. Let's check out the options. It seems that every day we have the cheese here. Oh no, in the morning we have fresh fruit on this stand. So right now we have cheese, some cold meats and just a little bit of fruit. So fresh fruit, some cereal for the yogurt, some salads as well. Seafood cocktail. Oh, this salad with shrimp and scallops is delicious. I already tasted more cocktails there. More salad, some pico de gallo, guacamole. The wheel of cheese on every meal is parmesan cheese, delicious. We have different dishes with chicken, some meatballs, oh, and the ribs there, they are delicious. On this side, we have some rice, some vegetable soups and beans. This seems to be more vegetarian, it's, it's tasty. Here we have some corn soup and some chicken soup. This is the pasta section. We have some lasagna and spaghetti. This pastor meat is to make your own tacos. You, you serve the meat and you got lime and everything. Here we have some fish preparations, but this salmon it's amazing, you have to try it. There are some oysters. Oh, and there's some pulpo, some octopus as well. I love it, I have to try it. Here you can prepare your own hot dog and hamburger. We have some wings, some nuggets, and broccoli, okay. And there was an amazing salmon here. Seems it's over. We have some pizza. And at last we have the desserts. Desserts and fruits, you will see. We already tried some and they are good and good enough. You can't miss the cheesecake and the flan. On this side we have the ice cream machine. I will show you in a moment. And here we got the fruit. Fresh, fresh fruit. And something that can't be missed on every meal, the ice cream. They're good, good enough as well. As I said, this is the ice cream machine. You got here your, your cones and you serve yourself. You help yourself. And you have several toppings from, to choose from, like chocolates on mints. It's, it's really nice. I, I think it's well enough. Oh, they brought the salmon again. Let me show you. Oof, freshly served. You really have to try it. It's really good. So, this is it. It's the same restaurant you saw on the breakfast. Here is as well the bread section. You can help yourself heal as well. It's all included. Okay, travelers, this is what I got today in the lunch buffet at La Laguna. Some fish, another fish, the salmon, and some ribs. Chicken wings, uh, there's no barbecue though. Some broccoli. And this ceviche, it's a seafood ceviche. It's really good, I really liked it. And everything goes with a beer. I'll give you my thoughts. Well, I serve myself an ice cream with some chocolate. You can put whatever you want on it. Well, we just finished. Thanks a lot. We are done with lunch and it was really tasty. We actually enjoyed it a lot. For example, salmon was exquisite travelers. You really have to come and try. So the salmon is a must. 
and the ceviche, the seafood ceviche was really good as well, you really have to try it. And all vegetables were good as well. We like it better than the dinner yesterday. I really think they did it really good. Remember, this is La Laguna for lunch buffet. Travelers, we are now at the Santo Taco, it's open now. They got some sauces here. Oh, and here's where the magic happens. As you can see, they're preparing some uh, tortilla shells with shrimp. Even though they're waiters, you can come and help yourself with the water, the fresh waters. It's hibiscus, horchata, and natural water. And there are some glasses here. Okay, travelers, here is my shrimp tostada and uh, pastor taco. And my wife has a taquito de pastor and a beef taco. Travelers we already ate here at the Santo Taco. It's really good. I really recommend it. Actually, we expected less, but yes, it worth it. Really worth it. It's a shame there were no governor tacos. I don't know if they were off, but the shell with trim was really good. And the same the pastor taco. So yes, come. We came to the salvia so we can see the snack at last. This is our last day, by the way. Actually, in the hotel at night video, I said that, that I didn't have the chance to come, but yes, I barely came. Some nacho cheese, the nachos themselves, some chili, everything to build your own hamburger or your hot dog. Here are the burgers. And on this side must be the hot dogs. Yep. Some plastic plates. And the nuggets. That's it, pretty nice here. They have their own bar. So you can come here just for a drink or a or spirit. And here there are the options you have for liquor. Same as in others. And the flavor waters and the natural water. And on this side, the refilled sodas. And I think that's it, travelers. Quite nice, actually. The same if you are coming from the pool or from the beach, or you if you want to stay here and look at the beautiful sea. I mean, look at those colors. This is Playa Car, obviously, and looks stunning. So beautiful travelers. Here we are for last time in La Laguna, not for dinner, buffet. For some reason there's no schedule here, but we know it closes at 10, a, uh, 10 p.m. It's still early, so I hope we will find all the items, like this shrimp salad that is amazing. Some mushrooms. Well, Actually, everything for your salad. There's some blue cheese here. Oh, this cure ham is amazing. I tried last night, it's delicious. Some cheese and grapes, some goat cheese. Some seeds or cereal here. The tortilla chips that can be missed. And here you prepare your own salad to taste. Here you have all the dressings you need for your salad. This wheel of cheese is delicious. This is the seafood area, fish, very tasty actually. We really love these shrimps and the scallops. Here we got some Brussels sprouts, potatoes, uh, some broccoli. On this side we have mushroom soup. Actually looks good, I didn't try it. And this is a vegetable soup. 
On this side we have some chicken with mole, some rice. Oh, this is really good. It's a pork loin with some orange sauce, something like that. Delicious travelers. I haven't tried this because I'm really stuffed. The classic bone marrows. This is the meat section. I don't know how good is it today. Yesterday I tried and didn't like it that much. With all the salsas, the guacamole, some limes. On this side is the pasta and pizza. My kids approve totally this section. All the dressings for the pizza. And for the youngers on the house, we get some hot dogs, chips, the mac and cheese. Look at this pizza. Looks amazing. All the compliments for the hot dogs and hamburger. I don't see the hamburgers, maybe they are gone by now. This salmon is delicious, travelers. Uh, there's some New York here that I haven't tried, being honest. More tortilla chips and now the section that is in all the meals, the fruit, fresh fruit. And it's actually really good fruit. And on this side we have all the desserts. You can't miss them. Just like in the breakfast and in lunch, it's the ice cream machine with all the compliments, all the toppings. More desserts. And something that can't be missed, the ice cream. Yes, it's going to be on YouTube. <laughs> Destination travel. We have here the coffee the coffee machine as well. You can request a coffee to your waiter. The same for the beverage machine. You can come in and help yourself. So, well, this is obviously the same as breakfast and lunch, but with different options, obviously. This is what I got for dinner at La Laguna, the buffet. Very small portions because today we have some reservations at the Fogo. So this is the only thing I will eat and they look awesome. Travelers, we just finished here at the dinner buffet. What a nice surprise. What a nice experience indeed. What a great service and everything was so tasty. My daughter enjoyed a lot the pasta and the candies and there were some candies leftovers. So she asked if she could take them and the waiter brought a paper tissue so she can grab up the candies and take it to the room. I think that was a very nice touch. We have received really good service uh, so far. We heard bad comments about that, but we face a very different situation. Very good service. Okay, travelers, let's go to the next. Travelers, we came to the Brazilian restaurant for dinner. It's a regular Brazilian steak restaurant with the swords. If you've been in other Brazilian restaurants, you will be familiar with the system. On this side, we have the salad bar with some sauces. But there are other interesting items like octopus and shrimp, some cold meat, fruit, cheese. The salad with a lot of dressings to help yourself. There's a soup with no sign. I don't know what it's made of. On this side we have more seafood, some, some vegetable, corn, and in the end we have beans, some smashed potatoes, and shrimp. Here you have a closer shot of the shrimp, the smashed potato, some cauliflower, and beans. And let's take a closer look to the chef. They are on the, oh my goodness, look at this beauty. Oh, so tasty, thanks a lot. Okay, but then let's let's see how it goes. Okay, Traveler, this is what I got. Some shrimp, some smashed potato, octopus. I'm sorry, this seems to be failing to focus. Let's check it out. And the meats are coming soon. This is what my wife got. She's not a meat lover like me. 
so she might not eat too much uh, meat. Well, we just finished eating here at Fogo do Brasil and we really like it a lot. We didn't expect this. Quality is actually pretty close to a regular uh, Brazilian steakhouse. I mean, not actually at the level, but it's still worth it a lot. For example, the only one I didn't like that much is the loin. It was a little bit tough. Everything else was so tender. The picanha was exquisite and I didn't record my dish because it looks awful. Just a small shot of what my wife got before her dish was a mess too. And the dessert that my son got. But besides the bad loin, I really recommend this restaurant. I really, you really have to come and visit it. I was expecting more tough and chewy meat because that's what happened on the buffet. But no, here was tender enough. As I said, not as good as a good uh, Brazilian restaurant, but good enough. Travelers were at La Toscana, the Italian buffet. Quite interesting. It's a buffet, but the main dish is a la carte. So I have an octopus and my wife's steak. And now let's check out what's on the buffet. This is the buffet, travelers. Everything looks nice, really tasty indeed. We love the cheese section a lot. I will save some. There's some pasta too. Some bread. Some rosemary for the nicer smell. Oh, there's a pizza section too. And they're actually different from the main buffet. And here you can prepare your own salad. And last but not least, the desserts. It does actually look good. Oh, and ice cream is a must. It's just weird that it's just a regular buffet. Quite normal, but the main dish is a la carte. Let's see what we can get. Okay, this is what I got. There's some shrimp risotto. Just a small portion of pizza, because that was too much. Some lettuce or arugula. Brussels sprouts. Some cheese I really love. Oh, I already beat this one, sorry. Well, bon appetit. Okay, travelers, this is the steak, the filet. Looks good, even not that big. And this is the octopus, a little bit small, but if it's tasty, it's okay. We got some meat stuffed ravioli as well, and they look really tasty. Travelers were just leaving La Toscana, what a great service. And how delicious was everything, we really like it a lot. I think this is the one we like the most so far. The meat was fine, okay, but the octopus was exquisite, tender. The ravioli as well, and all the sides on the buffet were all delicious as well. The ravioli were so tasty, the service was amazing. We missed our time for an error, and they still let us go inside. So long story short, it was everything amazing. Totally recommended La Toscana. This is how the temple look inside. This is just a regular tepanyaki. If you have seen other of my videos or maybe other tepanyaki videos, it's just the same. Yeah, but I got it.
after the show we have some dessert in this case the tempura ice cream and the pineapple pie we're just leaving the temple travelers it was really good just something weird on this hotel the meat is never tender i mean the beef the the chicken was really tender this time shrimps were very tasty but oh the dessert was really tasty as well but the applause goes for the rice the fried rice was amazing this time kudos to the chef really so it was a great restaurant the temple you really have to come it really worth it well you saw travelers this is all the food on the santos caracol and it was it was good except obviously for the beef the meat is not that tender only on the brazilian and chicken is dry in some restaurants but in general it was good in other restaurants something that dragged my attention is that seafood was good always everywhere the octopus alla toscana was amazing in the seafood in this buffet as well so we can recommend the food on this hotel please i hope you can like this video you can subscribe share that helps us a lot to make videos like this or even keep improving thank you see you on the next one